What is up guys, today we're going to be talking about how to improve your music video skills. What is up guys, this is Roberto Diaz and today we're going to be looking at a few tips that you could do today to improve your music video skills. I've been working on a bunch of music videos and there's a few things that I have learned on the way. So hopefully these tips are helpful to you guys. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Keep looking at YouTube videos. But anyways, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. One really important thing that I think we should all stay away from is transitions. And I mean corny, cheesy, weird, transitions we need to stay away from these because these will kill your video i don't know how many times i've seen some weird transition in a music video all it does it makes it worse please do not use these transitions i promise you less is more the more weird transitions or weird little effects you do the worse your video will look if you look at any professional work you will see that they stay away from all these corny weird transitions honestly guys if i see one of these don't do it stop second thing you guys should stay away from in your music videos is over color grading over editing slapping let's on everything let's 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 that sounded like anyways <laughs> that's cool huh so i recommend you guys keep it simple drop that intensity from 100 percent 25 percent 50 percent 60% keep those skin tones natural you're gonna thank me later it's gonna look way better another great tip to improve your music videos is exposing correctly while you are recording will make a hundred times difference when you are editing and the thing is applying all these things together is what's gonna make your video more professional and don't just do one of these literally if you expose your video wrong when you apply a LUT you're gonna think wow why does it look like that and you're gonna raise up the LUT you're gonna start messing with your exposure you're gonna start getting noise because you exposed wrong in the first place exposing your video correctly from the beginning will make a complete difference on your final result try to get the best exposure possible and if you guys are confused and you don't know how to expose there's hundreds of thousands there's a bunch of tutorials on youtube and i know you guys know how to search how to expose my videos correctly so please make sure to look it up another great tip to improve your music videos instantly is to not leave everything for post-production we hear it all the time when you're on set don't worry i'll fix it when i'm editing it no you won't you will not I remember doing a music video and I'm literally there on set thinking, I should probably fix this now. But my lazy butt was like, no, I'll just leave it on post. I'll fix it later. And guess what happened? There I was trying to fix everything on post and then it was not fixable. Make sure you are getting everything as perfect as you can when you are on set. Do not leave all the work for post-production. And if you have an editor, he will hate you. And my last and final tip would be, when you are on set, make sure you give 200%. So try twice as hard as what you are doing right now. If you're giving 100%, do 200%. Because literally, you will realize when you give 100% and you go to edit your video, it's not enough. You realize, oh man, I should have done this. Then that's when the 200% would have came in. So try to give more than you usually would. Try to envision the video before you're even editing it. And this will work a hundred times. Once again, guys, this is Roberto Diaz. Hopefully these tips were helpful to you. If they weren't, I'm sorry. I don't care if they weren't helpful. At least you watch my video. I'm just kidding. Thank you for watching my video, guys. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you have future video ideas, please make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And if you guys are interested in checking out my kit or what I'm using to record this video, please check the description below. If you are a beginner filmmaker and you don't know what kits to buy and you don't know what camera to buy, please make sure to check out my beginner filmmaker kit below. I'm going to try to do a little voiceover for you guys. Thank you for watching Roberto Diaz. Once again, this is Roberto and I hope you guys enjoyed my videos.